Hey everyone, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I finally finished God of War Ragnarok. My god, that game was long. A lot of bosses were complete BS. And I did say before, I'm now going to be doing Dante from Devil May Cry vs. Um, Kratos. Okay, so for Dante, I'm going to be giving him everything. He's going to get the reboot feats and the main canon feats. And the anime, too. Kratos, I think he may only get, like, the God of War 2018 and God of War Ragnarok feats. In the game, Kratos did tell Mamiya that, well... And Freya did even say it, too, that, well, since Greek is dead, or Kratos destroyed Greek, he has... <clears throat> No connections to Greek. Meaning every single weapon, power up, and every ability that he learned. In, the, yeah, God of War 1, 2, 3, the prequels. The, yeah, God of War, Ghost of Sparta, Ghost of War, Change of Olympus, God of War Ascension. All of those games. Everything he's learned from those games, every power-up weapon and ability he gained, yeah, he can't use it anymore. He can't double jump anymore either. So he's only going to be having the, well, weapons and abilities from God of War 2018 and God of War Ragnarok. Oh my god. <clears throat> Okay, so this one is one I'm really excited about doing because I grew up with both of these franchises. Playing Devil May Cry on the PS2 and playing God of War 1 on the PS2 definitely was really fun. And I did grow up alongside with the series. <clears throat> I still have not played the, um, I think this one got a sequel. To be honest, I did like, um, I, I like the original before, better than the remake. The remake didn't give me, a, you know, explore areas like the first Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3 did. <sighs> anyway, okay, strength. Both of them should, well, Dante is complex multiversal and Kratos is low multiversal. Complex multiversal means he's multiverse-ish. So both of them are roughly evenly matched. Speed. <laughs> <coughs> Kratos. Infinite. I'm being dead serious. Versus Battle Luke Bay says that his speed is infinite. Dante. Unmeasurable. To basically trying to calculate who's fast is pointless. So both of their speeds are basically impossible to calculate. That's fun. Kratos should be faster than life, seeing how he can... Uh, he did attack Magni and Modi, who I believe the God of Light. He also survived a punch on Thor, who was able to send the, um, the World Serpent back in time. How the hell do I calculate that feat? Like, how hard do you have to punch someone to send it back in time? Oh my goodness. <sighs> and he even killed Odin. He's also able to close, um, round tears. Yeah, these tears in different realms where, by sheer strength, that is something Superman can do. Yeah. He's able to close a hole in the space-time continuum with his raw strength. <clears throat> As for his weapons, he has the Blade of Chaos. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Wait, how do he keep the Blade of Chaos? He lost all the other weapons in the from past God War, but he kept the Blade of Chaos? Why did he not, you know, just... Leave that behind. I, I don't know. He has a blade of chaos. 
drop near a spear and the Leviathan axe. And no Atreus is gonna be helping Kratos in this fight. Nor would Freya be able to help him in the fight. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> this is a tricky one. It really, really Yeah. Arsenal wise, Dade has way, way, way more weapons than um Kratos. He has Abney and Ivany, Stinger. He also has a rocket launcher here was gift, which also acts as a grappling hook. He also has Gauntlet, so allows him to punch and kick. Um, Cerberus Nunchucks, which allows him to summon ice. <clears throat> uh, the Efreet, Efreet something. He had something that could let use magic. No, fire magic. Again, I have not played God Devil May Cry, the original PS2 ones, in a very long time, and I still remember some of the weapons you can get there by heart. Um, he can get, like, this demon sword <clears throat> from, uh, from his brother, the first one. I believe he could also get. Oh, he also has shotguns, machine guns. Uh, oh, and his devil trigger. Which, there's a few. There's Shiva, which allows him to summon ice. Ones that can allow him to fly. I think it's an electric one. I did love Devil May Cry 2. It was a really fun game. Uh, I'm trying to think. Kratos also has the spot in rage. Kratos is also a lot more nicer, more calm than his um how he was when he's much much younger. This is a tricky one. Okay, so who do I think wins this fight? Dante or Kratos? Um, again, both of them... Well, Dante has complex multiversal. Um, and Kratos has low multiversal. This is extremely close. Both of them... Have multiverse level feats in strength, defense, and lifting strength. Now, see, Kratos can actually lift infinite, so I think like that makes him stronger than um Dante. Hmm. I can definitely see Dante annoying Kratos by his personality. Hmm. How would the fight start? Dante goes to Don Kratos' home because, come on, yeah, they're having both God of War and Anitine and God of War Ragnarok. Hmm. I guess the only way, well, I don't see Kratos starting the fight. I guess the only way is if Dante finds Loki knocked out of hurt and is <coughs> carrying his son. Kratos sees us and thinks he's trying to hurt his son, and the fight begins. Um, this is a tough one. Dante, yes, has a more deadly arsenal. I guess. Well, yeah, he also has uh, <coughs> other one. I believe in one of them, he even has a weapon that gives him like 666 weapons, too, additional to many others, so. It seems that Don Kratos could be easily overwhelmed, but I do feel like um, that wouldn't be the case here. Uh, who's the most skilled fighter? Uh, it's Kratos. I mean, someone. Kratos was was trained to fight as a Spartan since he was a little kid. And I think he's like 60, maybe a couple hundred years old, I think. So he's been um, fighting for a very, very long time. Dante... I don't not so much. 
<clears throat> Both of them fought demons from hell and all kinds of creatures. God-like beings and other stuff. Um, in my opinion, I think Kratos wins this one with extra high difficulty. It's not going to be easy. Dante's large also will definitely be problematic, but I think the fact that Kratos can, like, lift infinite, yeah, infinite weight um, should put him above um, Dante in strength category. I would say speed, but yeah, speed. And both of them can even regenerate, too. Just by thinking of it, Kratos can heal every injury he has. Spide getting impaled and other stuff like that. Yeah. Um, dang. <sighs> so, this one was a tricky one. Um, comment below, who do you think wins this one? Alright. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Alright, bye.